Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn two concepts, regrouping and subtracting two digit numbers and also checking the answer by addition. We are in class 2 now and this is the second topic that we are going to see in subtraction. We know that addition and subtraction are the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. First, we are going to see regrouping the tens. Take the example of 23. 23 can be written as 2 tens and 3 ones. Now, we are going to regroup the tens. First, let us represent this in the form of blocks. 2 tens can be represented like this. And 3 ones can be represented like this. Now we are going to regroup the tens. Two tens can be regrouped as one ten and another ten. That another ten can be written as ten ones. So take that ten ones to the ones place. Then the ones place will become thirteen ones. Check if it is correct. One ten plus thirteen ones will give you twenty three. So you get the same answer. And here you have regrouped the tens place. Now let us represent this in the form of blocks. 1, 10 and 13, ones. Let us do another example to understand this concept better as it is very important for subtraction. 32 can be written as 3 tens and 2 ones. Now represent this in the form of blocks. 3 tens can be represented like this and 2 ones can be represented like this. Now we are going to regroup the tens place. Three tens can be regrouped as two tens and ten ones. Take the ten ones to the ones place. So in ones place now we will have two ones plus ten ones which is twelve ones. Let us now represent this in the form of blocks. Two tens can be represented like this and twelve ones can be represented like this. Hope you understood how we are regrouping the tens place and taking that ten ones to the ones place. This concept is very important in subtraction because this is how you will be doing the regrouping or the borrowing process. Let us do some more examples to get this concept really clear. Regroup the tens. Here we have three tens and five ones. Let us regroup this. I have given a dash in the tens place and 15 in the ones place. What will you get in the dash? When you regroup the three tens, you get two tens and 15 ones. The next example we have here is nine tens and five ones can be regrouped as eight tens and dash ones. What is that? Nine tens can be regrouped as eight tens. And that one ten or the ten ones will be taken to the ones place. So now in the ones place you will get fifteen ones. Let us do another set of examples. Fill in the blanks. Three tens and six ones is equal to two tens and dash ones. What is the answer? Sixteen ones. Two tens and four ones is equal to Dash 10 and 14 ones. What is the answer? 1 10 and 14 ones. 5 tens and 8 ones is equal to dash 10s and dash ones. You can regroup 5 tens as 4 tens and you take that 1 10 or the 10 ones to the ones place. So now in ones place you will have 18 ones. Dear viewers, hope this concept is very clear to you. So now we can move to the topic of regrouping and subtracting. Let us do many examples to make this concept very clear. So stay with me till the end of this video. 75 minus 38. Write down the one sentence place and begin the subtraction from the ones place. The ones place you notice that 8 is greater than 5. So you cannot do the subtraction directly. So now... Move on to the tens place 
and you see that you have seven tens. You can regroup the seven tens as six tens plus ten ones. So now the seven tens will become six tens and take the ten ones to the ones place. In ones place you already have five ones. So ten plus ones plus five ones will give you fifteen ones. So now in the ones place you will have fifteen ones. So now it is easy to subtract fifteen minus eight in the ones place. What is fifteen minus eight? You will get seven. Next move on to the tens place where you have 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. So the subtraction of the two two digit numbers 75 minus 38 will give you the answer 37. Let us do the next sum. Here we have 52 minus 36. Write down the ones place and tens place and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 2 minus 6. We cannot do this because 6 is greater than 2. So move to the tens place and you see that you have 5 tens. 5 tens can be regrouped as 4 tens plus 10 ones. So retain the 4 tens in the tens place and take the 10 ones to the ones place. In ones place you already have 2 ones. So 10 ones plus 2 ones will give you 12 ones. So in ones place now you have 12 ones. 12 minus 6 in the ones place will give you the answer 6. Next move on to the tens place where you have 4 minus 3 which will give you 1. So the subtraction of the two numbers will give you the answer 16. Let us do another example. 60 minus 22. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place you have 0 minus 2. We know that 2 is greater than 0. So move to the tens place and you see that you have 6 tens. 6 tens can be regrouped as 5 tens plus 10 ones. So 6 tens will become 5 tens now and the 10 ones will be taken to the ones place. So in ones place you have 0 ones. So 10 ones plus 0 ones is going to give you 10 ones. So now in the ones place you have 10 ones. Now you can subtract 10 minus 2 in the ones place which will give you 8 and in the tens place it is 5 minus 2 which will give you 3. So subtraction of 60 minus 22 will give you the answer 38. Now that you have learned to subtract, let us do the next topic. Subtract and check your answer using addition. The first sum that we are going to see is 22 minus 10. So write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 2 minus 0 will give you 2. Next, move on to the tens place where you have 2 minus 1 which will give you 1. So subtraction of 22 minus 10 will give you the answer 12. How to check if the subtraction that you have done is correct? You can do this by the process of addition. With the answer that you get, you add the smaller number. The answer that you got here is 12 and the smaller number is 10. When you add these two, you will get the bigger number from which you started the subtraction. So here it is 12 plus 10. Now write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 2 plus 0 is 2 and in the tens place you have 1 plus 1 which will give you 2. So addition of 12 plus 10 will give you 22. So 22 is the bigger number from which you started subtracting 10 and you got the answer to be 12. Now by adding 12 plus 10, you get the same answer 22. With this you can conclude that the subtraction that you have done is correct. This concept of subtraction and checking the answer by addition will be very helpful for the children to ensure that the subtraction that they have done is correct. So let us do another sum now. 88 minus 4. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 4 is 4. Move on to the tens place. You just have 8 over there. So take and write down the 8 in the tens place. So 88 minus 4 will give you 84. Now add 84 plus 4 which will give you 88 again. Do you see that? So when you add with the answer the smaller number, you get the bigger number. 
In this case, it is 88 minus 4 is 84. And you add 84 plus 4, you get the answer to be 88. Let us do another example for the same concept. Here we are going to subtract 50 minus 19. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 0 minus 9. We know that 9 is greater than 0. So move on to the tens place where you have 5 tens which can be regrouped as 4 tens plus 10 ones. So the 5 tens will now become 4 tens and the 10 ones will be taken to the ones place. In ones place you have 0 ones. So 10 ones plus 0 ones will give you 10 ones. So now you have 10 ones in the ones place. So now we can subtract 10 minus 9 in the ones place which will give you 1. Next move on to the tens place where you have 4 minus 1 which will give you 3. So 50 minus 19 will give you the answer 31. Now let us check if our answer is correct with the help of addition. Now with the answer 31 add the smaller number 19. Write down the place values and add from the ones place. 1 plus 9 will give you 10. So retain the 0 in the ones place and take the 1 10 as a carry over to the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So 31 plus 19 will give you the answer 50. Dear viewers, hope you have clearly understood how to subtract and check the answer by addition. These are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the subtraction concept of which we have covered the topic subtraction concept properties and keywords in the first video and in the second video I have covered subtracting two digit numbers with regrouping of tens and also subtract and check using addition. In my upcoming videos we will be covering subtracting three digit numbers without regrouping and then regrouping the tens and hundreds place in the three digit numbers. Then we will be dealing with story sums and then we will be taking up the mental math and subtraction worksheet. Each of these concepts will be dealt with in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy navigation. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the quality of my video give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.